Hi everyone! We are up again for another balloon tutorial and uh, this time I am going to do this for a client. We are going to do a first birthday balloon garland with a foil balloon, uh, number one foil balloon piece on the side of the garland. So yeah, this is going to be a very simple balloon garland since she just wanted to have um, a little bit of balloons for her sweets table. This time, I am going to make a pink mix of pink, gold, uh, rose gold, and white balloons. I am also going to use a balloon strip this time because um, this will be just a very simple balloon garland. So let's dig into our supplies and uh, see how many balloons that we are going to use for this balloon garland. So as I've mentioned, we are going to use a white latex balloons, light pink balloons, rose gold, and uh, gold balloons. So this 16 inches is uh, going to add a bit of volume to our balloon garland. And also guys, I also mentioned that I am going to use this balloon strip uh, in making our garland, which means that we are going to inflate our latex balloons individually. Place each balloon to this, to the holes of this balloon strip. Here, here. And also, I also mentioned that I am going to use a rose gold number one foil balloon since it's a first birthday. So I'm going to show you guys later too how do I use or where to place this number one foil balloon to accent our balloon decoration. Okay guys, so now I am going to start inflating all my balloons. And um, since this is going to be an organic balloon garland, I am going to inflate them in different sizes. And um, there's nothing actually a pattern on the colors, so just keep on inflating your balloons. So we are going to inflate our balloons and tie our balloons uh, individually, unlike the balloon columns that we are going to make a pair. So this time, we are going to tie them individually. Okay guys, so example for this 16 inches white balloons, when I inflate it, it's, as you can see, it's kind of pear shape. Um, that's why I always wanted to kind of press it. And while pressing it, I am also going to release some air to kind of give it a rounder shape, see? Here we go. Okay guys, so now that we have inflated most of our balloons, I feel like this is going to be enough for my uh, balloon garland. Uh, for now, I am just going to start um, placing them or attaching my balloons into the balloon strips. By the way guys, as you can see, I have a backdrop frame here set up. So I am going to attach my balloon garland to my backdrop frame. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, start uh, attaching my balloons to the balloon strips. Uh, as I have mentioned, I am just going to 
put them randomly. I'm not going to use any color pattern. This balloon strip comes with small and bigger holes. So I am going to use just the bigger holes this time. And if I can see that there's a gap, then that's the time that I am going to use these smaller holes. So I am just going to attach this. Just insert it in the bigger hole. And then I am going to pull it all the way there. So I just pull it all the way up to the um, to the neck of the balloon so that is what I am going to do for the rest of the balloons Okay guys, so now that we filled in more than half of our balloon strips, I am going to um, initially attach the upper portion of the balloon frame. Um, so the client mentioned that the table that she is going to use for, the, for her cake and for the sweets table basically is about six feet wide. So that's what I measured also with my backdrop frame. Okay, so when tying my uh, balloon garland to the backdrop frame, I'm going to use a uh, twisting balloon or a 260Q. And I'm going to grab the end, uh, I mean the, the end of my balloon garland and tie this 260Q onto the pole or the backdrop frame. Okay, so as you can see guys, I just tied, basically just tied the end of my balloon garland to this, uh, to the pole. Okay guys, so now that we are done with our balloon garland, I am now going to um, inflate my foil balloon, number one foil balloon, to uh, accent the side of this balloon garland. This um, accent piece, if you guys don't want or doesn't have a helium tank, this one here can be purchased on your local stores. 
Like you can just purchase a balloon bunch from your local stores and then rearrange it once you have the helium filled balloons. Okay guys, so now we are done with our first birthday balloon decorations. So basically, we have a very simple and easy to make balloon garland. This is perfect for a budget friendly um, decor. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment below and please don't forget forget to subscribe to our channel for more balloon videos bye see you guys next time